Developing seedless table grapes. The table grape industry is currently in a renaissance of innovation in breeding new varieties. Public and private breeding programs have produced exciting new varieties with unique quality characteristics superior to those currently available in the market. Grape breeders have generally focused on varieties with high productivity, reduced production costs and improved eating quality. This short Inno Grape video will review seedlessness, one of the most important and desirable traits consumers value in table grapes. Have you ever wondered how seedless grapes are produced? Before we answer this question, we must review a few basics of grape berry anatomy and development. In the early stages of flowering, the calyptra, or flower cap, loosens and falls off to expose the floral organs. Grape flowers are hermaphroditic, meaning that they have both male and female organs. The male part of the flower consists of pollen producing anthers. The female parts comprise the stigma, style and an ovary with four ovules. Each ovule has an embryo sac containing an egg. During flowering, pollen grains from the anthers adhere to the sticky top of the stigma. Under the right conditions, the pollen grains germinate and a pollen tube grows and penetrates the ovule. This egg is fertilised to form an embryo. In seeded varieties, fruit set occurs after successful pollination and fertilisation, and the ovule, with its tiny enclosed embryo, develops and eventually becomes a hardened seed. In the seedless varieties most of us know and enjoy, the berries appear to be seedless, but they still have remnants of seeds. In seedless varieties, pollination and fertilisation occur as normal, but the embryo aborts two to four weeks after fertilisation. The fleshy ovary wall continues to grow, but seed development ceases. This results in partially developed seeds or seed traces. While seed traces are present, berries are still considered seedless for commercial purposes. More than 85% of commercially important seedless table grape varieties develop in this manner. Seed trace detectability is variable among varieties and season. Thompson seedless contains small soft seed traces, which usually go unnoticed while other varieties may contain large, more prominent seed traces. In some years, the seed traces of varieties like Autumn Royal may be more noticeable than others. Many factors influence seed trace detectability, including the size of seed traces, the timing of embryo abortion, their degree of development in berries, and the number of fertilised ovules. Varieties with small seed traces typically have an embryo abortion occur in the early stages of berry development while those with larger seed traces break down at a later developmental stage. The environmental conditions during flowering and fruit set are also thought to play a role in seed trace development. Very cool temperatures during the early stages of berry growth are thought to delay embryo abortion and, as a result, increase the number of noticeable seed traces in berries. Seedlessness is an important quality attribute in new table grape varieties. Grape breeders select for varieties that have very small aborted seed traces and keep an eye on their presence or absence throughout the variety testing and evaluation process. A grape breeding program's ultimate goal is to provide consumers with exciting varieties and a superior eating experience. Seedlessness is a highly desirable trait preferred by consumers when purchasing fresh table grape varieties. This video is brought to you by InnoGrape, a table grape extension program supported by the Australian Table Grape Association, with funding from the Foundation for Rural and Regional Renewal and the William Buckland Foundation.